Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Have I ever told you guys how much I hate reflective packaging? Because I really hate reflective packaging. It never looks good in photos because you can only see the camera in the reflective packaging. I picked up this powder in 2016 when they were like literally all the rage and I have the lightest shade and I think that it is actually a really helpful powder but I wasn't really sure if it was doing that much to my skin or if I was just being crazy. So I really, really wanted to review it. <laughs> so the product description says, a wardrobe of six universal finishing powders that recreate the most exquisitely flattering light from ethereal moonlight to luminous candlelight. Each powder captures, diffuses, and softens surrounding light with groundbreaking photoluminescent technology. A groundbreaking collection of finishing powders that refine the appearance of the complexion. Powders mimic six universally flattering light sources from morning light to candlelight. By manipulating and filtering out harsh light, powders conceal skin imperfections, pores, and wrinkles. State-of-the-art formula delivers a multi-dimensional luminescence to every skin tone, making it appear softer, younger, and perfectly lit. Ethereal light, an opalescence sheer cool white powder that mimics a moonlit glow even in broad daylight. This powder comes in really elegant packaging. It is a pain to photograph and film because it is so shiny that you can see my face and the camera, which annoys me so much. You guys would not believe, but oh well. There is a large mirror inside the compact, which makes it great for travel, and it doesn't come with its own brush, which I prefer. I have the shade Ethereal Light, which is the lightest shade in the collection and described as an opalescent cool white powder that mimics moonlight glow. It definitely is a pale shade and it blends out to be almost invisible on the skin. In the sunlight it is a little more obvious and leaves my skin looking quite glowy, but a lot of the time the effect is so subtle that it's not visible at all. I usually apply this where I want a little bit more light. This includes the center of my forehead, under my eyes, where beauty gurus would usually apply a triangle of concealer four times lighter than their skin, no shade intended, and then a little bit on my chin. I like to put it underneath my eyes rather than concealer because I don't actually have anything to conceal, but I do want that lightness that you get from that effect. I use a large fluffy brush to apply this powder, but I don't notice a difference on application if I use a different brush. Looking super close to my skin, I can see very tiny particles of glitter, which is actually really interesting. I can't see this in real life at all, and I don't particularly want my face to look glittery, so that's probably a good thing. I have zoomed this picture in so close that you can see my pores and my peach fuzz, but you can see the glitter, and that's how close I had to zoom in to see it. I really enjoy using this powder, but for 72 New Zealand dollars, I'm not sure if I would repurchase it afterwards. I feel like my skin looks better when I do use it, and I can see it clearer in the video footage than I can in photos and in real life. You definitely can see a little bit of shine. It doesn't look like the dewy skin shine, so I've got fairly dewy skin at the moment. I am obviously not wearing this. And it doesn't look like highlighter, it's not like glittery, but there is some sort of like glowiness to the skin. I really enjoy using it if I am going out or if I'm doing performances, which means that I will be photographed because I think that it makes my skin look better, but I don't know. <laughs> after seeing the before and after photos, I don't think it really makes that much of a difference to photos, but it makes me feel better. The product description does claim that it's going to conceal skin imperfections, pores, and wrinkles, and I think that it is completely untrue. I don't think it does anything of the sort. It just makes my skin look a little bit glowier. It also says that it's gonna make my skin look softer and younger, and I think that that's also untrue because my skin does not look softer or younger, but it does look glowier. <laughs> I would love to hear what you guys think about these powders. Do they do something to your skin or are they just really overpriced and now they're not as hyped up as they used to be, but they used to be super, super hyped up and like every beauty guru would have one of these and use it every single time. So tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching this review and I will see you next time.